All right, final problem. Again, I see i's to powers or i's being multiplied by i's. I immediately go to my little pattern. i to the first, i to the second, i to the third, i to the fourth equals, 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 equals. i1, i1 minus the All right. So once I see that, I look at each individual piece. 3i to the third is going to be 3 times negative i. Again, negative i is better than i cubed because it's to the first power. And 3 times negative i is negative 3i. And again, these are being multiplied, so these are being multiplied. Make sure it remains a multiplication of pieces. Don't change it into a subtraction of pieces. I've got 2i squared plus 2i squared is the same as negative 1. That's better than that because it's not got an i and it's real. Minus 2. Next one is plus 7i, which is perfectly fine. i to the first power is great. Real numbers are great. So the green and the blue there, both are exactly what they need to be. Finally, we got 2i to the fifth, which is not on our list, but again, it's a repeatable list. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So i to the fifth is the same as i to the first. So that's going to be plus 2i. They might give you 2i to the 73rd power. Okay, let's just imagine that 2i to the 73rd power. And you start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that, that seems like, well, that's going to take a little while, but that's doable. 7,398 power. I don't want to do that. 73,981st power. Oh, that's terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. About the time it's 11 o'clock at night, you're still counting, you're on the 35,000, you're going to be mad at me. Mr. Clients, such a mean person. All right, anyway. Here's how you deal with this. If it's I to any power that's huge, how many things in the pattern? Four. four. Put four into that number. Remainder 1, remainder 2, remainder 3, remainder 0. The remainder matters. The quotient doesn't. So remainder 1, 2, 3, and 0 means you're at the fourth power. Just to prove it, let's suppose it was 8. 4 into 8 is 2, remainder 0, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. 2 to the fifth power, 4. Or I to the fifth power. 1, remainder 1, first power. All right, so just know if, it, if it's a huge power of I, they don't do that in the book, but they might eventually at some point in your life do that. That's how you handle it. So all my stuff's here, either I to the first power or real number. Again, that's where you want to get first. And then once you get I to the first power, real number, real answer first, negative 2 plus 4 is equal to positive 2. Imaginary number second. It's 2 plus 7 is 9, minus 3 is 6, so plus 6 I. And even though the first thing here is imaginary, the second thing is real, I still put real first, imaginary second. Create the habit now. It will make your life easier in the future. I promise. I won't count it wrong if you give me 6i plus 2, but just know that down the road, you're going to be getting weird stuff happening in your papers that's going to make your job a lot more difficult than everybody else's. So it's worth your energy at this point to focus on real first, imaginary second for your future.